Hey guys, this is Ryan Ralph here, and welcome to Planet Coaster. I have been waiting, and I mean, I am, I, I mean, waiting to play this game. Uh, I, I've been playing it for a little bit now. Uh, just for the people who don't know, I got to recap. Planet Coaster is a new game that's coming out, guys. It's it's a brand new planet um, roller coaster theme park simulator type game, like Roller Coaster Tycoon series. Um, in my opinion. I, I like it better than Roller Coaster Tycoon World. That's all I'm going to say. If you like World, that's great. I think it's going to be a good game, too. This is just my opinion and what I prefer. And so it is what it is. Yeah, anyway, this is an awesome game, guys. And I'm glad to be bringing it to you today. Uh, I apologize to all my viewers. I have been... Um, I've been quiet. My channel has been quiet for a while. I had some things to deal with, and I just wasn't in the mood to make any videos for quite a while um, and I'm really not now either to be honest but I figured you know it's time to bring something to the table because it's been it's been too long so I do apologize but let's get on to the game so this is a, a blah, planet coaster it's made by Frontier they're the ones who designed and created Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 for Atari. Um, since then, they've uh, gone their own way. They've made a couple games since then. They kind of publish their own games now. So this is kind of their own deal. And uh, Atari is publishing uh, Invisio Games, who, are ma who is making Roller Coaster Tycoon World. So this is Alpha. Uh, it's been out for maybe, what, a week and a half? Something like that, week and a half, two weeks, something like that. Uh, it's very early stages of alpha, so I don't know if you, any of you, probably some of you may not be familiar with what an alpha is. It basically, it's basically a game, the version of a game that actually starts to become playable during development. It's basically the first stage where the game's actually playable, but it's not the game that the developers want as a finished product. You know, tons of assets. Uh, features um, and all that stuff is missing of course right now they're just focusing on core gameplay getting it to be playable and put some features and assets in and then work on the rest and kind of put them in as time goes on and then when the game's released you it will turn into the full game um, so you can play alpha all the way through alpha to beta and then all from beta all the way to beta to release and then when it's released you will be updated to the full release version of the game um, one topic before we go over the park real quick that I want to discuss is the price. A lot of people seem disappointed at the price. Um, $75, at least for me in the United States, is a hefty price to pay for an alpha. Usually we see alphas and betas, aka any game that's in early access, go for 20 30 40 bucks. But they're usually about 30 35 bucks is about what most of them are. And the reason is, is because basically you pay less because of the fact that you have to pay. Just the fact that you have to pay before the game's out to play it early means that you still have to pay, but they make you pay less as an incentive to get it early and still support them. So Frontier's approach is kind of odd. It's the first time I've ever seen someone charge more. Uh, because the release, the street date for the actual release version of this game is 30 US dollars. So that's 45 more dollars to play early. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just putting that information out there. If I was complaining, I probably wouldn't be playing this game right now. And he wouldn't be watching me play it either. So... Anyway, this is a park that I've been playing for a while. I don't have too much time in it, but I, I really do enjoy it. I did what I can my first time around, and it is what it is. I, I think it turned out pretty good, although, of course, it's not finished. Um, it still has a lot, a lot of work to be done. This game right now, it has no, um, just so you guys know, it doesn't have any kind of um, park management built into it. Of course, it's going to, yes. They promise it's going to be detailed as well and kind of have some depth to it. Um, that will be in the beta or, or alpha or beta build of uh, 
at some point, I would imagine, before the game is released. And that is the Kraken. It's actually really well detailed, that big squid looking thing. It's got some really nice textures on it for the type of game this is. You know, like, I mean, I was actually pretty surprised on the detail on that thing. The 3D model is nice, too. So I just wanted to, you know, give you a little bit of a walkthrough of the park here uh, as a perspective of a peep because it always looks the best uh, at their perspective. So basically I have three coasters, uh, a medium one, a mild one, a crazy unrealistic one, and then I have kind of a hybrid coaster. It's, it's actually a dark ride, but since it's, there's no dark ride assets in the game, it's really more like a coaster in a building, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was a pain, and guys, I mean a pain in the butt to build that. Um, there's actually a lot of coaster. We're going to go over this for you. Um, go ahead and ride this real quick. Just going to go into, oh, yeah. Um, every time you boot up the game, you have to put in the code to unlock the coaster. You can't even modify it if you don't have the coaster tab unlocked. And I forgot about this, but this is important to mention. A lot of people have been asking this on Facebook and the forums. Um, I guess they didn't see the official announcement. If you want to play, if you can build coasters, but be, because it wasn't planned to have coasters in the first alpha, they actually unlocked it due to high demand, but you have to use a code. So you go to Buildings tab, you go to Search, this little search magnifying glass, and just type in, all in one word, hit Enter, and then as you see, that tab unlocks, and you can now build coasters. Uh, you also need to do it, obviously, to, to mod them as well. Let's go back in here. Uh, we go to Debug, we're going to um, close, remove train, add train. This is obvious, this ride is not finished either, guys. Just saying. And the robot band is not turned on. It's on a timer and it kind of does on its own. Like, I think it needs a sense or anything that passes by it should turn on, but it turns on, like, every, I don't know, like, every two or three minutes for, like, 30 seconds or something like that. That's it, guys. Let me know uh, what you guys think. That was a pain in the butt to build it. I mean, I have about seven hours um, invested in it so far. Just and and the crazy thing is, the more walls that I put up, there is a lot of coaster in the confined space that there is. I mean, there really is. I used up coaster-wise probably about seventy percent of the space. I would have done more, but it's really hard with the track. Uh, builder. It's not perfect. But the more walls that I built up around everything, the harder it became to maneuver the camera in certain spots. And, and oh man, it was 
it was like a puzzle, and it was very time consuming. So that's that. The building is kind of boring, but there's not a lot of assets right now, so I didn't really. I'm not super creative either, so I really didn't know what to do with it. I did. I did the best I could, but. It looks good from a distance. <laughs> the Ferris wheel is kind of cool on top of it. It's one of those weird Ferris wheels where, like, the, the, the it's like a swing, and it, as you can see, it's weird. I don't know. All right, you know what? We'll go on this coaster. Now this is my mild coaster. It's basically designed, I designed it to be for like kids. Um, or like, you know, like 10 and up, you know, like family friendly kind of coaster. I think I did a pretty good job and still made it semi cool. I mean, I, I don't know, I would ride it in real life. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, well that's my park for now. I really like this area over here. It's, I, I wanted to do like, because with a lot of people's parks, at least right now, because there's no terraforming yet, that's coming and it's going to be awesome because the terraforming system that is being built for the game is very detailed. You can build land above land without any supports if you want. Um, like, you know, you can, like, make, like, a, like, a, it's hard to explain. It's in one of the trailers, so most of you have probably seen that if you're watching this video. However, so, uh, most people's parks are kind of, like, open a lot, you know. I wanted to create at least one little area, which, um, turns out to be a pretty popular area. Um. I had a traffic issue though, so bear with me because it looked better than it does right now. Uh, there was about between this spot over here where these two rows connect and then up to about the third bush to the left. There was, within that space, there was about 400 peeps, maybe five. I mean, the whole, they, they were so packed that nobody could get, go one way or the other for that amount that I just, of space that they were covering that I just tried to explain to you. It was insane. I mean, it was insane. I don't know if it was just because, you know, obviously the only way to get there was this one little thin road. I wanted it to be thin because I wanted it to be secluded the way it is, see? And it was, there was just this one road, and then it also connected to this. But what I did was I put this big old road going through here. Um, still have to clean that up and everything. And then... Um, connected this and gave that its own road, but also gave it a connection right here, but I still have to move the trees that I put there. Let's do that now. Uh, let's see. All right. So yeah, that's a very, uh, just a very brief rundown of my park. I built, of course, I built the bathroom, that bathroom building. I think I did a pretty nice job on it. Um, and then I have another one. Where, did, where is it? This one right here. That one's kind of cool. I like it. It's a little bit smaller. And, um, 
Yeah, here, you know what? We'll ride the main coaster. I consider this to be the main attraction in the park, basically. And lately it hasn't been giving me the front seat. Like, usually it gives me the front front seat, the one that we're looking at the back of. But as of last night and today, for some reason, it's giving me the ones behind, like, the second one. I don't know what's up with that. I can do first person, but I prefer, like, seeing the seat, too. Oh, well. This one has a nice, slow, just kind of a very dramatic start. <laughs> and I gotta remove that. I must have placed that when I was fixing everything and not realized. And that's it. I would say that that's probably the main attraction, in the, uh, at least coaster-wise, in the park. Um, this one is just insane. I guess we'll go ahead and take a ride on this one, too. Um... Hmm... It's turned off. There we go. This one I just messed around with. I wanted to do something just like fun for fun and not like a, you know, like a try and do. Because it's hard. I mean, it's actually hard because it's so much fun making coasters that it's actually hard to like tone yourself down to just make something a little, you know, like realistic that wouldn't break your deck and things like that. Especially right now because they're, the coaster builder has nothing. Like, there's just a coaster builder, but it has no code that like says okay you can't you know like it, it'll let you build anything at the moment I don't know if that's on like but there's no system that rates it and tells you that you know like and, and the guests don't care at the moment so right now it doesn't matter but I would imagine in the future that you won't be able to get away with something like this like it would either derail or the guests you know obviously wouldn't ride it and things like that so but for now it's kinda of hard to tame yourself it's fun to mess with it Should have banked that corner. I don't know why I did. But yeah, there's no way that you would most. I mean, yeah, there's no way you would survive that. At least I don't think so. But so yeah, you know what, guys? Uh, we'll just um. save
Let's go to the main menu. We'll show you what the main menu looks like and all the different parts you can pick from. There's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> um, I imagine they'll add more. <laughs> but yeah, these are the ones that the developers made, and you can basically start with them. Um, and a lot of them have, like, some of them are, like, just the beginning of a park. Some of them are more, feature more stuff. And that one's pretty cool, the, the the tree. And then that's pretty cool, too. I haven't I haven't messed with anything but the, the straight-up sandbox. Um, but, yeah. I don't like those kind of parks. Like, I don't like that because that's not realistic. I mean, like... No one's going, you know what I'm saying? That's just not realistic. You're not, you don't build theme parks and freaking ravines and crap. Like. <laughs> but that's just me, so. Alright, let's do. Well, you know what? Let's load up. We'll load this one up. I haven't been here, so. I do not like. Uh, I mean. Well, I kind of like. Actually, I do like the featured. It's like a. You know, you go here. It's like the featured ride of the park. The way it's connected to the gate, like that. But I like that idea. And you could put a bunch of cool stuff here, a bunch of scenery. You could block it off, make it isolated or whatever, but. Mm, the layout, I don't think the layout's big enough either. The rows aren't thick enough for the... Alright, let's see. That's pretty cool. The textures are actually pretty nice once you get close to it. Um, but the options right now are very limited. Like, the game's going to look better than it does. Um, it's just the fact that the details and stuff, like, you can't really change... Here, I'll show you, actually. That's the graphic options. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, um, it's in borderless right now just for the purpose of recording this. Um, but other than that, yeah, you can't really change anything. I mean, it's just the very basic stuff. Um, now, you can go into the I&I uh, &I files or whatever they are, the, the setting files for the presets that you're using, and you can change some stuff there. But, it's, but a lot of the stuff... Um, is missing out of there as well, so. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. Um, should we build a red or a blue one? Hmm. We'll go blue, I guess. We'll go blue. Um. Let's see here. Now, what I like to do is I like to usually, um, where is it? See the length here? Or not the, the this right here, you yeah, have the length. I like to pull that out because right now, for some reason, and here's another thing I don't like, is that for right now you can only add one car, like one train. You can have it up to, like, depending on the coaster it is, max trains, but, like, or cars, but you can only have one train on the track. And usually in, in coaster games, you have to extend the deal or put, you can usually put, like, extend the station. But in this right now, it seems like you can just extend the station by doing just the track only and not the platform, which kind of sucks, but um, really it doesn't do anything right now, but I, I usually pull that out anyway. I'm going to build that. All right, now let's see. Your chain lift. Or no, you know what? Start out with the chain lift. All right, um... We'll do a mild hill, like a mile. I mean, it'll be tall, but it won't be real steep. Or actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go steep. <laughs> I can't help it. And can we? No, okay. Uh... No. Okay. Um. All 
All right, so what should we do? Um, I wish he was like roaring, you know, like his mouth was open, he was like roaring, so you could have the there'd be enough room for like the coaster to go through both either side. <laughs> Right now, like I said, there's no terraforming, so unfortunately you can't, later on, you'll be able to build a cave that it can go through, like a mountain, and then you can build, a, uh, like you can decorate it and put lights in it, and not just, not just like a basic little hole, you can make it real wide and, and have it all decorated and awesome and put water in there and everything. Until now, we will improvise, but, uh, Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's go that way. Whoa, that's a freaking... Okay, we'll do that. You can actually lock the camera if you do um, this. It will follow it. I don't know why I do that. I, I tend to. I'm always used to like just. I don't know. I'm old school when it comes to Sims, so I'm used to always having to do the camera all by myself. You know what, let's do a, um, let's do a roll. No. I don't know if that's going to be enough speed or not uh, to to pull that one off. <laughs> uh, probably do that one. Well, You know what, let's just go for this one. And if it works, it works. And if it uh, if it doesn't, wait, well, where's, where's, okay, we'll do this one. And if it doesn't, then um, it doesn't work. I guess we'll just have to fix it when it, if it doesn't work, so whatever. Wait, no, 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 no. Definitely don't, don't have the speed for two. I'm trying to there we go put some boosters on there Why can't I, uh, oh, duh. Sorry, guys, I had to bait. So if you guys play the alpha, 
and you have built your own stuff and you have pictures and or videos that you'd like to share with me and my subscribers or anybody who watches it or may read the comments please let me know uh, I would love to hear about the parks that you built see the screenshots or videos um, I'd like to you know post links to your YouTube videos or Facebook or wherever they're at and uh, yeah that would be awesome I'd like to see what you guys are building too Uh, we'll, we'll get a roll in there. Well, actually, you know what? Because I'm going to need some speed on this one, because... Uh, we're going to go down a little bit just to get some speed on it. Alright, let's see. This is the thing is, the other thing is with the coaster builder you can't build any steeper than this, like hills going down. That's as steep as you can get them. And that's not bad, but um yeah, people are complaining, and it's kind of funny to me, to be completely honest with you, about the, the people that are complaining. I find it funny because they weren't even, they didn't have the coaster builder where they wanted it for the public to see it. That's why they, when they said, when a couple, like, before the beta or the alpha was released, they stated that, um, They stated that the Alpha would not, the first stage of it, the first build, would not include the Coaster Builder because it wasn't where they wanted it for the public. And people got like upriled and just begged and bashed and asked and was like, no, we want it. You know, you better put it in there and blah, 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 blah. And was threatening them and everything. And um, it just got really bad. So, yeah, they basically caved in and said, okay, we'll add it, but you got to enter a code to activate it. And uh, yada, yada, yada. So, they added it, guys, but it's not, it's not, um, it needs work, and that's why it wasn't going to be in here, but you guys begged, and now you have it, yet you complain, some of you. You got what you wanted, I mean, you had to have known that it was going to be buggy. But I see that a lot. I see a lot of people who complain um, on the net about games. And um, they always want, like, they just ask for stuff early or whatever on betas and alphas. And then when, when the, oops, let me, uh, what do you think, guys? Should I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I guess I'll just take it on back. To the station, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that, but. <laughs> Let's do.
I wish the autocomplete worked. I mean, it, it does when you get it like right to the end, but it's sometimes, watch, it won't be because I'm recording this, but sometimes it's actually really hard to get it to connect at all. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's not that easy. <laughs> I've had trouble with that. All right, so. Um, we just got to do this before I can, before it'll let you uh, start it and everything. Okay. Um. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I built this with you guys and you guys get to go for a ride. I don't think this coaster is very good. Uh, it's obviously totally unrealistic. Uh, that's what I was going for. I, uh, but I don't think it's really, we'll see, I mean the ride's going to determine whether or not what I really think about it, but from what I can tell, I don't think it's going to be all that great. But if you can build it, it'll work right now. Because all that stuff that controls that isn't working right now. Or in the game or whatever you want to say. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, shit. That's weird, there's no track noise when you go backwards. But there is when you go forward. Man, it was so... <laughs> you know what, let me uh... It's really easy to get in, as you can see, and uh, edit if you do make a mistake or, you know, if something's not um, exactly the way you want it to be. Okay, I'm hoping... The boosters and the brakes are kind of crappy right now, in my opinion. They do not, um... The boosters and the brakes aren't adjustable. And I think, I'm per I hope to God, at least, that they are on the lowest settings. Because they definitely feel like they're on the lowest settings. The boosters, if... If you come off a hill, like a, like a, or come up from a hill or something, you're not going that fast, and you need a boost, and you, you put down, like, two sets of boosters, but on a flat, uh, not on a hill, but just a flat uh, surface, the boosters will actually stop you. They slow you down and, and make you, and, and pretty much bring you to a halt. Uh, they, and, and when you go over them, when you have some momentum, it, they don't really seem to really boost you, and the brakes don't work, they don't, they don't work very well either. It takes a lot of brakes if you're going really fast, like a lot. Um, so I think, uh, and you can't control it like you could in like RTC3. You know, you could control the uh, the amount of uh, brake uh, power or boosting power. Um, hopefully, I mean, I would imagine, right? Like that just seems like a silly thing that you wouldn't do. It's like you know, 
So I'm sure that that's going to be in there soon. I like this drop right here. That's really nice. Come on, boosters. Oh, see, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. <laughs> like, they did not do anything. They didn't slow me down. Because I, I, I stopped at the same exact spot. But they did absolutely nothing to get me over that. Okay, I know what we can try here. Um, just so without we can we can do this. We can make it work. Make it real light, and with those boosters and everything, it should go right over that. Um, this is a cheap way. I would obviously, if it was a ride that I was going to use or whatever. Oh, that brings me to another thing that sucks right now is you can't. You can't, there's no, and eventually you'll be able to because eventually you'll be able to share your uh, rides. So I know that this will be a feature, but right now, there's no way when you build a ride, there's no way for you to um, save it and add it to, like, the ride menu. You know, like, in with the rest of the coasters or, or whatever it is, or you build the bathroom, save it as a building, and you can pick the category that it saves to, like, the section in the, in the object, right? Hopefully that's coming because obviously this is really like building oriented, you know, for the buildings and stuff. And um, there's, if, if you're someone who doesn't want to do that, there's going to be plenty of develop, developer content that comes with the game, building wise, and thousands and thousands of guaranteed stuff that you can download from people. Oh, you know, after the game's been out for like a year or so. But there's going to be yeah, there's going to be a lot of content. You, so if you don't want to build, you're not going to have to, but. Alright, come on. Come on, you can do it, little train that could. Come on, the little train that could. No, what? <laughs> uh, it's just not enough speed, guys. Oh, man. The boosters do nothing. Okay, uh... Well, this is going to be a long video. I didn't want it to be this long, but, uh, unfortunately, it just, it seems it's just going to be that way. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... Alright, so, I need to get, get my camera in there properly. I guess I, I'll have to remove this. Can I just... Oh, well, crap. That's going to be like... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Um... Um, can I put boosters on, like, everything, and then maybe, like, just if I put enough, maybe it'll actually do something? You know what I mean? Like, if I put boosters, like, on every single piece leading up to that thing, like, maybe it's possible. They don't really seem to do anything, but I'm thinking maybe if I just, like... Okay, well, that's... I can't... Okay, I can't put them past that point, but... I don't know, guys. I, tell me in the comments that if what you thought was going to happen in this section, um when I put all, like, a crap ton of boosters on there before you saw the actual ending. 
let me know what 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 what, what you thought was going to be the outcome before you actually saw it because I'm I'm curious. Like I don't, the boosters don't seem to do anything. So this is going to be like the real booster test for the alpha build. Like the this like the first stage of the alpha build is whether or not they can absolutely do anything because let's face it. 10 boosters, like, all in a row, or however many it is, a crap load, it should do something. <laughs> so, we'll see if we get any farther, at least. I thought the drop would have been... That's a pretty... I didn't realize just how steep that is, though. That's pretty... Like, the beginning of that loop is pretty darn steep, that's... Come on. Well, the proof, the the booster pulled the down so much tell like they pulled it pulled it down quicker, got it going quicker. No. Oh my goodness! Look at all those boosters. <laughs> Look at them all, and it doesn't do anything. All right. Okay. All right. I, I tried keeping it guys, I tried my best. I guess I don't have a choice in this one. I tried, I, I, I really wanted to keep it. I, I really wanted it, but... There we go. That mended pretty easily. I've never had to mend two pieces like that before, but so I wasn't too sure how that was going to play out. It seemed to work well, though. All right, so once and for all, we're going to put the full train back on there. I don't know if that's a bad idea or not. I guess we shall find out. That's also a glitch where, like, when you when you're building, and then you get out of building, and then you try and, and go into uh, actually ride the ride, and the button doesn't do anything. <laughs> you have to click out of the ride and then click back on it. All right. So, what do you think, guys? Do you think it's gonna work now? I mean, I think it'll do those three loops no problem. God, I hope so. <laughs> I want something up there, like you know, like I wanted. I thought it'd be cool to put a loop or something like really high up. I apologize for the length of this video. I, I did not. I did not. Uh, I did not intend to make it this long at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think it's going to make that just as I suspected. Oh, yes. It did it. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Oh, I did those no problem.
All right, well, that's it, guys. Um, that's my crazy coaster in this uh, crazy park. And I guess it's really not that crazy, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that's the coaster I made with you and uh, all of you, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy my park, and I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, you know, what you've seen on Planet Coaster. Obviously, there's thousands of, well, probably not thousands. Well, there's a crap ton of Planet Coaster videos on YouTube. So, definitely check those out because there's some really cool stuff. In my videos, I don't tend to really, like, I go over specifics of the game and the game company and things like that um, and the mechanics and stuff like that. But I don't, um, this is just a preview, I'll go over more of it as the game progresses, but, um, I don't usually do, like, gameplay videos where I actually build stuff. Um, I mean, I do, I'll play, I'll play games and, and, like, play it while I talk, but, like, it's not, it's hard to explain, it's not like other gameplay videos. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, rate, share, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, it means a lot, I appreciate it. I thank every one of you who are subscribed to me. Uh, it, it, it really means a lot to me. So, anyway, I look forward to making a new video of this game sometime soon. Until then, see you in the next one.